Checking the time is 6.45. Welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. When people hear hip injury, it's easy to picture an elderly citizen with limited mobility, but doctors are now seeing a different type of hip condition affecting younger athletes especially. So here to talk more about this from Scripps Health is Dr. Brian Rebolito. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you. So talk about what the trend we're kind of seeing with younger patients and hip problems. Yeah, so I think it's kind of been a little bit more education that we have been able to uh, give out in terms of what it is that's causing hip pain. In the younger population, it's a little bit different than arthritis. It's a lot of times what we call hip impingement, so an abnormal kind of development or contour of the hip that can cause premature, um, uh, I guess, uh, cessation of range of motion and also can cause pain uh, associated with it. And is this really just because we're seeing athletes, kids starting their sports younger and younger, which means injuries are happening earlier? Yeah. I mean, what's causing yeah. this? Yeah, so I think it is. It is more common in the active population. And for those that are really putting more demand on, upon the hip, they are seeing those injuries a little bit more prevalently. Um, in terms of those that are at risk, it is typically those that are active. And it can be that young, uh, young athlete, but it also can kind of be that weekend warrior, too, that develops this. It's those that are having hip pain, but not necessarily arthritis and a lot of times those issues uh, do cause severe um, you know uh, ailments associated with it. Yeah it's really painful yeah. and typically what we had seen in the you know senior citizens or older populations was a complete and total hip replacement yeah. right I, I've actually been in one of those really? surgeries <laughs> and it's it's pretty intense yeah. and it's a, it's a big recovery yeah. Yeah. and a lifelong change after yeah. that so now there's kind of a new approach that we can take a less invasive approach yeah so again this is something that I think if well the data is still kind of being developed here but uh, in terms of if we were able to intervene early we may actually be able to s prevent or maybe even delay the need for a hip replacement uh, it's still a little bit too early to say that just yet but we do know especially from some of the more recent studies that the clinical effectiveness of hip arthroscopy which is how we address a lot of those uh, patients that do have what we call hip impingement um, which is associated with earlier onset arthritis by being able to intervene early again we may be able to help um, you know prevent these things from occurring later on okay so describe hip arthroscopy yeah. for us yeah so hip arthroscopy is a kind of modality where we use kind of keyhole poke holes uh, within the uh, skin to uh, use a camera and instruments to address all of these issues. This is very different than what we had available say maybe 10-15 years ago where it was a much bigger procedure where we dislocate the hip, the recovery is much longer and for a lot of people that uh, that aspect uh, is not as uh, enticing as being able to get uh, a procedure where they can come in and go home the same day. So I was reading a lot of success stories particularly with with younger athletes that have this hip impingement you've been talking yeah. about and so this this hip hip arthroscopy can be really beneficial for some of our Olympians, other yeah. athletes, that yeah. they can continue without this major surgery. Yeah, so in terms of those that are able to return to professional level sports, uh, about 95% are able to do so. Uh, a little bit lower, about 85% in the collegiate uh, population. And there are a number of different variables that would go into that, but it is a very successful procedure. And I think most importantly is patient selection. For those that are really truly affected, that do not have the arthritic condition that we see with hip replacements, they can do from hip arthroscopy. Well, this is exciting, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of patients will kind of try this approach as opposed to uh, the more invasive one. Yeah, we yeah. hope so, yeah. Dr. Robolita, thank you yeah, so much for being with us this morning and explaining that. Appreciate it.